Tonight, shock throughout the southwestern city school district. Authorities say a Pleasant View middle school teacher had pornographic videos and pictures of children on his computer. NBC4's Rob Sneed is live where Michael Walsh works as a teacher. And Rob, what is the district saying about this tonight? Well, Ali, the district says that that teacher is placed on paid administrative leave at the moment, but the whole thing is upsetting to parents because authorities tell us many of those children on those pornographic images were five years of age and younger. Oh, boy. Under the age of five. Oh, that just breaks your heart, doesn't it? Heidi Smith has two sons, twins, that attend Pleasant View Middle School where Michael Walsh is a teacher. She never thought she'd hear this message on her phone from the school principal. Last evening, one of our teachers was taken into custody for the alleged possession of child pornography at his residence. The Pleasant View Middle School teacher is accused of saving videos and pictures of children having sex with adults. Franklin County Sheriff's deputies say they found the images on computers and other electronic devices inside the teacher's Grove City home. Today, NBC4 requested an interview with the Southwestern School District Superintendent to discuss the district's response to this matter. Instead, district spokesperson Sandy Nekoloff did the interview. As soon as we were notified last evening, we placed him on administrative leave pending investigation and that we understand from the Franklin County Sheriff's Department that none of his actions were done on school grounds, nor did they involve any of our students. Nekoloff says the district ran a background check on Walsh before hiring him. She says that's standard practice. As the details continue to unfold, this mom says if Walsh is guilty, she'd like to see him put away. He's a pervert and he's with children. It's it's wrong on so many levels. And that district spokesperson told me that none of this happened on school grounds, nor were any of the students that attended this school were involved. Reporting live in Grove City, Rob Sneed, NBC4. Thanks so much, Rob.